All right, so this tutorial is going to be about designing playing cards, you know, like for poker and old maid and crazy eights and stuff, or whatever, blackjack, I don't know. Well, we're not encouraging you to gamble, but cards are a staple around households across America and the whole world, in fact. Um, so, wouldn't it be cool if you could design your own face cards, for example, and your own, if you want to design your own suit, you can. So, first off, I want to talk about organization of your project. So, notice in this folder, I'm not really done yet, but I have two folders that contain essentially the same stuff card layout king black suit and let me go back up to the other folder diamonds has the same stuff now what they should both have besides king black they should have king queen and jack and there should be two sets maybe four depending on how much time you have and what your skill level is like you can have um, at least two different sets of face cards and they'll each need to have their own card but the card layout let's look, take, take a look at this uh, you know what, let's start with the suit. The suit project contains, check it out, four layers. And each layer has, of course, a suit in it. And the one I'm most, least thrilled about here is the heart. That just came out horrendously. It's a lumpy, bumpy, and completely ungeometric, but, you know, we'll figure it out eventually. And the nice thing is, when I update it here, it's going to update <laughs> here in my card layout. So check out group on this if you would please check out the uh the, the the stacking i've got going here i've been a bunch of layers and at the bottom of my layers here in my master template for my cards and remember there's one of these by the way in each suit so each suit is made up oops got completely lost there <laughs> there we go so each suit has its own folder and the nice thing is there if you change the card layout, you know, if you change the suit in this one, it changes the suit that shows up in here. So they're linked. Okay, so it's it's maybe a tiny bit more complicated than that, but not too much. So I brought in a sample so I know how the layout goes. And I just copied it off the internet, and I wanted to figure out, okay, where does stuff go, and how do I arrange it? There's probably some mathematical ways to get the job done, but right now we're just looking at how to set this up. I've got a layer here called sizers, and the sizers were things I made to um, figure out how big stuff should be. So I just figured out what should be the, let me just flip this around. So this I used to help me determine the size of uh, specific, oops, specific um, suit objects. And so using that shape as a general rule, I used the transform panel. Oh look, it's about two and a half by two and a half. So I made my suit two and a half by two and a half. Okay, because they're showing up in here. And, and then I shrunk them down to this one to get them to fit into um, that section. So I'm going to close or lock that piece, hide. Okay, and then I, then I, of course, have to create different spots for this. But the king card, uh, it's going to eventually, right now it's got a capital K on it. So I'm just trying to figure out how to lay this out because my goal is to design one set of cards, copy the folder, and change the contents and the colors just a little bit. Okay, so that's essentially how this gets laid out. So, for example, let me uh, let me rename all these layers which I made. So, King, Queen, Jack, Ten, Nine. Yes, this is very exciting. Eight. Some of this part is really sort of um, pedestrian, if you might say. It's sort of laborious and boring. But the point is, do this once, and then you can design the rest of your cards. And if you come up with some nifty card game like Uno or whatever, let's see, this would be the ace, wouldn't it? Okay, instead of one. Okay, if you come up with your own card game, then you can figure out um, uh, how to set it up and lay it out this way and then get it printed if you want. So if I just hide everything else, sometimes I show and hide stuff. This layer here called Corner Suits is where my, look, I only need two things in there, don't I? Okay, now I could talk about how I specifically place those. You know, um, there's some mathematical ways to get it exactly right using graphics, and I'm not going to touch on that right now. But what I should be looking at is the fact that, look, I only had to put those in there once because those are on every single card in the deck. Then I look at the king, and it would appear, <laughs> it would appear that I have that so far off the page, I don't know where it is. Huh, I'm not sure where I put that. Turn it back on. There it is. So I'm going to put the king, and this is where that sample comes in. So 
So if I zoom in on this bad boy and check it out, I want to use, and you know what? Cards tend to have certain fonts. They tend to be uh, serifed fonts, which means that they have those um, foot and header pieces on the on the on the items. So I'm gonna dim out the card a little bit so I can see this better. So there's a lot of fonts you could use that'll do that. Uh, type font. So just looking at all the fonts available, I specifically want to use a you know what might work well as Times New Roman or some other. Times New Roman is so far down the list. So if I just choose one, maybe go with the Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. And then I can stretch it up. And using that as a general layout spot, let me stretch that out a little bit more. Oh, this is looking nice. Okay. Now, rather than do that twice, it's probably a smart idea if I just copy it. And the question is is it going to rotate without flipping? That worked. So let's bring it down here. So now I know where all my cards should be, okay? So let me lock that and eventually I'm going to hide it. Or you know what would be really smart because I'm a genius? Would be let's take these items and drag, well, you can't even see what I'm doing. Let's take these two items and drag them down to my new, new object list and copy these and drag them into here. So if I hide the king, I know, the question here is why would you when you're going to do the queen, call it the king. Because I'm just going to go in there and save the layout. And so I can do that every time I have... Oops, I keep hiding the darn layers panel from you. Every time I have one to do, I'm going to copy that over. There we go. So now I'm going to take this extra copy I just made, drag it down to the jack, hide, lock, collapse, and by doing it once, you sort of wind up doing it a few times, and that works pretty good. Let's see, am I on the jack? Why is it not working? Okay, there's jack, capital J. I may as well use caps lock at this point, and J, and so on. So can I do the same thing for my numbered cards? Absolutely, I can. Let me take these and drag them down. So I'm using my layers panel effectively and work exclusively in that area sort of manually placing things and so now I'm into 10 and I was thinking that might change the layout a little bit but it doesn't it's left justified let's hide the jack oh looks like I did that no that's right okay hide the jack and I can even start hiding the sample okay so now I'm just gonna copy this and again I gotta do this once for 12 cards or is it 13 or is it 14? Yeah, <laughs> do the math. I don't know. But now having done this for 9, I can do this for the whole set. And when you eventually get the whole set done, and you're like, okay, I need to copy this to make another suit, and the other suit happens to be red, for example, let's unlock these, lock everything else, unhide them, and if we want to change this to red now, having copied it to a new folder, so let's assume that we've done the job right here and this happens to be card layout file save and suit file save okay so some of this is about design some of it's about outsmarting your computer so now I don't remember which one I took that from let's hope you know the one way to check <laughs> which one it came from is to go file save as and look at which folders in. this is the clubs so I'm gonna go back to clubs in the folder and clubs copy paste so I'm going to take the clubs copy F2 and rename this let's say hearts and so if I open up hearts and I choose card layout here's the test I want to see if this is going to work okay oops So I'm going to figure out which folder this is in. So I go save as because I can't remember. It says it's in the diamonds folder. So if I go back to the diamonds folder and copy it and paste it and then rename this one. I don't know why that's called diamonds because I actually have something else in there. It's the spades, I think. Let's call this spades. 
And so I'm going to leave the spades one the way it is, but if I go back to the diamonds one, let me close this. Let me close this. Let's go back and open up. Let's see. What did I just change? The spades. Let's go to the diamonds one. Let's go to card layout. And the first thing I'm going to do is get my layers panel, which I have no idea where I put it. Layers, 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 layers. So taking this one, I've still got all my layers in place. But this one, of course, is what did I say? Diamonds or hearts or something like that? Let's go look at which one I opened up. This is the diamonds. So using the diamonds, if I unlock this, I need to change these all to red, don't I? So everything else is locked. So if I change this all to red, then I can do this. And all those letters are changed to red. So now I'm going to go and I have to change the suit of the card that shows up. Having changed all those, I should lock them. And now I'm going to go, let me collapse that. And so now what I need to do is go find the suit for that one. And what did I say this was? I can't even remember half the time. Uh, let's go look. This, uh, I lost it. This was the diamonds. So I'm going to change the suit to diamonds. And to do that, I'm going to use my layers panel. And let's hide and lock and everything with the diamonds. And now if I go file, save. Remember, I copied this folder from one that I already built, right? So any second now, the computer's going to go, hey, something changed in that other file that's right here because you have to remember it's right there. And I haven't built all the suits or all the, all the cards with all the layouts for the, the suit objects, but sometime soon it's going to... And so there's the message that says the computer's freaking out because some files are missing or modified in the links panel. Would you like to update them now? And yes, I would. And so now... I've got this, and eventually we're going to have to pump these out as individual cards simply by choosing one set. Now what I still have to do is go back to, for example, the king setup, or let's do the numbered cards right now, that'll make more sense. So if I go to my numbered card for the 9, then I need to import, remember, file, place, and this is the menu tutorial, oh my goodness. So here's the file for suits. And, of course, this one is revealing the diamonds, even though it has all the other ones in place, right? So my thing i got to figure out on whatever level this was, was this the 9 card? I should hide all the other ones to not confuse myself. I want to go look up what the 9 card should look like. So I looked up the 9 card, and I'm going to lay out four of these. Now, remember, i got a cheat away for this, so if I go File, no, Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform, and I want to do four of these, which is one plus three copies and preview and let's move them um and i made an oversized document by the way this is four times the size of an actual playing card let's move these down by I'm trying to remember how big they are two and a half by two and a half let's move them by 2.75 and see if that works so oops that's the wrong direction let's take that number and paste it here so now i've got that i think they should be spaced a bit more let's try three inches and let me now drag this up. And if I go over one, and the way the nine works, that's four plus four is eight plus one. Now what about this darn effect? All I have to do is open up the appearance panel and easier than importing another one. If I take that one and I kill the transformation by dragging it to the garbage can, now I've got that one card there and I can place it in the middle of the deck. So there's my nine. And I can work similarly to create all my other cards in the deck in my layers panel. So it's a little bit of work initially to set it up and lay it out, but you do it once and then copy the whole thing to build other suits. So make sure that you complete one entire set of cards before you copy the folder to a new piece.